Kazama. I'm Jin Kazama, and today we'll be playing Tekken 4 Tekken Force. The final episode. Okay. The final episode. And. And since Heihachi has been resurrected recently in Tekken 8, I have thought doing the last episode of Tekken Force would be appropriate and perfect timing, given consideration. So here we are, I'm gonna go through all of this once again. Even though i done this before. Oh my god. Even though i done this before. But since I haven't really publicly did it on the channel, I might as well show you how I... Okay, I might as well show you how I did it. And here I thought that Mishima's thoughts was already taken out, but instead, no, they're reformed in monks. They're reformed, except they're monks of her. Okay, it... Uh, oh my gosh. But yeah, they're reformed. Let's see. This is gonna be forever. Not anyway. So, dick. <laughs> Seems I was gonna say something. You just had me on to jump scaring me with the fucking hell answer. Of course. Really? Really? There you go. That's better. There you go. Almost there. No. No. There you go. Of course. <laughs> no match against me. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> How are you? Sadly, the ground punch combo is not unfortunately. That's the sad part. The ground punch isn't really, you know, here in the game. As it was first introduced in Tekken Dark Resurrection. Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. And then debuted it, obviously, in Tekken 6. Which would basically be more an advanced game than, you know, Tekken 5 on Love being Dark Resurrection, obviously. Oh, and don't worry, the Q&A is still in progress. Later within the month, it will be finalized and premiered on the channel. As well as another upcoming series onto the channel, which I will leave that as a surprise after this episode. <laughs> no match for me, it seems. <laughs> Not this time. Just two! Yeah, swing your arms like it's gonna be literally a piece of cake. Yeah, just go and do it. Watch this. You people really make it seem like I'm an easy target, and I'm like, C-class missions. Like the easiest person to take down in any existence. Think again. And for the record, Kazama style will always be better than Mishima. Always. And I would promote I learned from the best. Which isn't Heihachi. And I don't think I need to say her name, as it's already obvious enough. My mother. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Done nice. Oh great, here we go. Supervisor William. Who would name themselves that? Supervisor William, is that supposed to intimidate me? Cause you did a terrible job. Is that supposed to intimidate me or something? Supervisor William, that's the most stupidest name that anybody could come up with. D 
I knew it! I knew it! I freaking knew it! I freaking knew it! I seen it coming! Freaking knew it. I. How can you not hear that door open? How can you not hear that? Like, that is the loudest sound you can hear that's literally right behind you. Might be because, like, your helmet's as thick as your skulls, that it's hard to hear. <laughs> you see, this is what happens if Heihachi runs a Saibatsu. They are under trained. The most low skilled army known to man. Very under trained. I am not gonna let you out best me. No. No, no, no. Stand still. Good. Ignore the fact I just did Zen stance. Not to, not, I had to check on something. Don't worry. What, what the fuck? Oh, really? Why? Are you serious? Okay. 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 That was stupid. Chicken. You know, this reminds me of the fact that back in Tekken 6, Chicken. I didn't do what I did out of my own intention. My real intention was to literally do some research. But we did two phases of research. The first research was the getting behind of the information of what the origin is the Kazama bloodline and of course the Mishima bloodline. And do more research in the background story of both clans. The second research was more so how to get rid of the double G. On who is and who and what is the origin of the double G. And it turns out it wasn't as easy. That was misinformation thanks to Heihachi having to ask one of the troops at the Mishima Sanbatsu to give me the misinformation of that subject. When Seizo had nothing to do with the double chief. I later on realized that. Well, it, it took since like Tekken 7. And the thing is, most people would always think, Oh, I did this out of my own militia. No, I didn't. Heihachi's the one who instigated that entire thing in the first place. But people always seem to blame me. But you know what they say, people would rather believe in the lies than the truth and facts. And rather what they see on screen. I don't really know my real intentions with the lore. Also not to mention, if you thought Safina was innocent, I don't think so. Safina was never innocent. If she knew what I was talking about, she wouldn't really act surprised. And she knew what she wanted. She knew what she wanted. She used me as some guinea pig just to shed blood to the entire world and many states to come. Many reasons why everybody is against me. Put the entire world on fire. Put everybody in bloodshed. So Azazel can awaken. Just to use me as a guinea pig to defeat him. Just so she can have power sealed in her arm. Literally, that's what she wanted. I didn't do this on my own. I was just following what the soldiers was giving to me. As much as I would have made my own decisions, but I didn't know how to lead an army at the time. So I just took what was in front of me and just went sadistic all over the place in other senses, which I take fault for, unfortunately. And the origin of that story? Just, just look at him, is all I gotta say. And not to mention, Devil Within is partially canon for the fact that right after I saw the burnt mist of Yakushima after me flying out, out of Hanmaru, is when I wanted to see the insights of what G Corp would have wanted. Which is what the idea of Cosmo is I wanted to find G Corp. Just because, not only it was Mishima Saibatsu who was doing experiments, but G-Corp as well, before, you know, Kazuo took over, I believe. 
but I'm not sure if I'm getting this wrong, but yes, this is true. I wanted to know if they were truly experimenting with the Devil G. And it seems that they have since the very beginning. And much is even more upsetting. As I would have been shot dead. Right from the start if I didn't move or did anything. And I had to find my way out. So yeah. The whole thing was partially canon because I let my guard down just for a short period of time. But yeah. I thought I'd mention a few facts from here and there. Which that being said, thank you all for watching this final episode of Tekken Force Tekken 4. Another series will also be coming out in the making, as well as the Q&A that will be premiering. Like and subscribe to join Team Operation Lane. This is Jin Kazama, signing out. Get ready for the next upload.